Good evening from Bangladesh. This is Tofik Johur, your host is speaking now. Thank you everyone who are joining this show today. Today our episode number is 146 and title of our program today is The World of Poetry Recitations in Poet Voice Part 44. Today, 19 February, Sunday. Now it is in Bangladesh time, 9 to 10 p.m. evening. Thank you once again who are watching this show around the world. Bangladesh, the practice of poetry can play an important role in bringing peace to the world. Poetry for peace. We have gathered today to read poetry in mother tongue and international language. Poetry has no boundaries. The sky of poetry is one. This is our slogan. Our path will continue with arthi poetry. Let poetry win. We have invited nine poets from eight countries today. Uh, rest of the poet and poetess will be joined very soon. Uh, they are trying to connect with us. When they will enter into the studio, we will give the floor to her. Uh, first of all, today I am going to invite it uh, as our native country from Bangladesh, my, our senior poet Mahmoud Kamal is not present now. So I am inviting a poetess Libertad Betancourt from United States of America. Now I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from United States of America. She is Libertad Betancourt. She is a multifaceted poetess, writer, artist, professional photographer, actress, art consultant, speaker, Houston radio host. She is also ambassador of peace, art and culture. She is the founder and CEO of the organization Love Living World Movement, Amo Viver, Movimentio Mundial, United States of America, Vice President for the IFCH of the Kingdom of Morocco, Official World Director of the Advisory Council of the International Chamber of Writers and Artists. She got some prestigious award like International Honorary Award, Outstanding Women Artist in the Country of Turkey and Abroad. 2022, Compassionate Ambassador of the National Movement in United States of America, Love Has No Limit, El Amor No TNE Limits 2022, Michael Angelo Award 2022, International Books for Peace, Goodwill Silver Ambassador for Cultural Award, International Award of Excellent, City of Galatio Antonio di Ferraris, 2021, Rome, Italy. Golden Star Award for Literary Merit, 2021. Inspiring Latino Award granted by LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens, USA, 2021, few ones. Her poetry book has been published from Turkey. Now, I am inviting poetess Libertad Betancourt to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's a privilege to be here. Good morning, everybody, especially Bangladesh, to this international forum. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to read but one poem uh, in Spanish that is the heart of uh, my poem, the language that I write it. The name is Madura. Y me dejé caer del árbol de la vida. Ya no necesito de sus ramas para sostenerme en las alturas. Y de hoy en adelante marcharé por mí misma. Disfrutaré de un andar descalzo entre piedra y barro. Brincaré como niña en charcos de agua dulce. Lavaré mi rostro con las lágrimas de la llovizna. Jugaré con canicas de colores pecho a tierra, pero solo con las más hermosas, grandes y coloridas. 
le sonreiré a la razón y a la locura. Reiré a carcajadas hasta desfallecer de alegría. Me enamoraré de un profundo manantial profético y seré abundantemente correspondida. Él abrirá la bóveda secreta de mi deidad y descubrirá mi viña de coco y piña. This poem is uh, published in, uh, in this placard. It is a book that I, they made it in, in Istanbul. The book is in English, Spanish, and Turkish. The name is Lovers, Amantes, Aciclad. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poetess Liberated Bethancourt, for your uh, beautiful starting. Now, I'm inviting uh, from Tunisian Honorable Poetess Imen Meliti. Now, I'm introducing one of the eminent poetess who is from Tunisia. She is Imen Meleti. She is a qualified PhD in international relations, bilingual translator poetess. She has been published three children books and academic books, a poetry collections, which has published White Tulip in United States of America. She is the member of International Humanitarian Association. She has been received many international awards. Now I am inviting poetess Amin Meliti to present her first poem today. Thank you. All the authors to that today. A special greeting for my horrible friend, uh, Mr. Tufiq Zuhur. Thank you again for this. A great event to be with you. It's a honor. I will uh, select a poem from my uh, book, Season of Sunflower. We need an attitude to reinvent ourselves. We need resilience to follow the path. We need a deep read to make a dream come true. We need courage to remain authentic. We need the humility to learn from mistakes. We need wisdom to accept that we are not under control. We need hope to remove a word. When you can't see anything else, we need to prove love to each other. We need compassion to be together. When you get there, you discover all the beauty of living. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, honorable poetess, Imen Meliti. Now, I'm inviting uh, from Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, my dear sister and friend, Amina Delilovic Kevlik. Now, now, I'm introducing one of the well-known poetess who is from Bosnia and Herzegovina. She is Amina Delilovic Kevlik. She is studying Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian language and literature at the Philosophical Faculty in Janica. She got master degree on the subject memory constructions in the South Slavic interlinear community, typical models of the war camp experience in literature. She has published her writing in the regional magazines and internal portal. She is the author of the poetry collection, The Time Without History, published on 2016. Short story collections, Erased Life, published 2021. Her collections of poems, My Son and I, is awarded by the Publishing Foundation of Bosnia and Herzegovina in 2021. Now, I'm inviting poetess Amina Delilovi Kevlik to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tufik. It's my pleasure to be here one more time. My first poem, uh, I will read it in my language, then translate it, it in, into English. Uh, the poem is from my book, My Son and I. <clears throat> Goli život. Za vrijeme proljetnih njemačkih kiša, moj sin i ja pravimo globus od kartonskih kutija. Danas smo napravili jedan veliki. Oblijepili smo ga kolaž papirima i stavili nasred garsonjere u kojoj smo živjeli. Mama, 
Gdje je tata? Upitao je. Prije nego sam zalijepila posljednji sjećeni boje Balkana. Bear life. During the period of the spring German rains, my son and I are making a globe of cardboard boxes. Today we have made a big one. We wrapped it with the collage paper and placed in the middle of the studio apartment where we have lived. Mom, where is dad? He asked before I glued the last cut colors of the Balkan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Armin Adelilovi, for your beautiful starting. Thank you once again. Now I am again in, I'm again inviting one poetess who is also from uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. She is Ajimina Krihik. Now I am inviting, uh, in, now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Bosnia and Herzegovina. She is a poetess, she is winner of several international award of poetry including award of university professor in Dresden 2019. Mike this there award 2020 award of the publishing foundation of the federation of bosnia and herzegovina 2021 fra martin nedic award 2022 her poem has been published in several international anthologies in national and internationally now i'm inviting poetess Aminia krihik to present her first poem today thank you Thank you to invite me. Uh, I also want to greet all other poets who are here. I uh, I will read my uh, poem on Bosnian first and uh, then in Spanish version. Trešnja. Skrivam se u tebe kao koštica u prezrelu trešnju. Lovim u tvojim mirisavim sokovima, strepeći od pohlepnog kruna ptice koji će nas razvojiti. I neću tvoje pitanje, zar je i voće osuđeno na samoću. Sereza. Me je skondo antikomo una piedra en una cereza madura. Navejando en tus dragantes pujos, temblando por el abido pico de un caro que... first it's first poem <laughs> i don't know uh, if i need to read another one <laughs> okay thank you i you will read your another poem in a second time thank you very much thank ajimina you. critic thank you now i am inviting uh, our brand ambassador and also a part of team with then marija stanovic stanovic from serbia now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Belgrade. She is Marija Stanokovic. She is 27 years old, has just recently published her first poetry book and title of the book, A Part of Me, Dio Many, which has been a huge success so far, making her one of the top selling poetry writers of her generations in her country. More than 10 years ago, she was first featured in an anthology where her poems were published, firstly written in Serbian and secondly both written and translated to English. In later years, she has participated in a series of different cultural events taking place in her country. She has been a part of many anthologies and has been internationally published in magazine and different media format. Marija writes about navigating life as an individual differences in opinion between generations about family, love, etc. She is a mother passionate about language and learning, working and also keeping up with her passion for arts, writing both in rhyme and free verse. She is keen on making a bond between traditional values 
and the modern world around us. Now, I'm inviting Marija Stanokovic to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tafik. I'm honored to be with you today, as always. Thank you for inviting me and uh, thanks. Also, I can say thank you for everybody else who is participating. I love this type of uh, poetry readings, multicultural, uh, where everybody can say their opinions, their express their emotions. So once again, thank you. And I will be going into my songs for today. So the first song, the first two songs will be in Serbian, in my mother tongue. The first one is, I have read it before, but it is really dear to me, called uh, Where I Am in My Thoughts. Ili tuk de samo mislima. U svojim sam mislima još drugačiji. Teško se čovek miri sa sobom. Vi mi sudite ako sam rđav. A ja sa tom poslednjom slobodom negde sam u mislima daleko na moru. Topo povetarac i plaža su tu. I ona je tu. I ja sam tu, zelen i mlad i spreman na sve. Moj je sav život moj što je. Moj je čini se i cijeli svet. U svojim su mislima takav i sada. Mani se istina. Šta će nam to? Treba mi još dan, još dva dana, da budem gde želim biti. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marija Stranokovic, for your beautiful starting once again. Now I am going to Indonesia to invite a uh, poetess Yanita Ismail. Now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Indonesia. She is Yanita Ismail. She has been fond of writing since 2018. Her aspirations to become a tour guide has made her love the world of tourism. Traveling and culinary tourism are her other hobbies. Participating in an international poetry writing competition made her known to the world. Her poems are written in English, Indonesian and Javanese, apart from being in the world of poetry. She also enjoys photography. The motto of life is never give up before your dreams come true. Cultural reverence, online magazine, Lit Light, Bharat Vision, as well as several international anthologies and also Facebook. You can enjoy her creative works. The cyclone will end. Soul of love break the silence. Born to dream. Dancing with death. Photo poema Indonesia. Mother tongue in poetry and many more. Now I am inviting poetess Yanita Smile to present her first poem today. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you so much and hello everyone. I'm so glad to be here tonight and thanks for inviting me today. Uh, I will read my first poem in English. It is, uh, it is old poem. Uh, the title is Saturday Night. Can't go anywhere on Saturday night. Listen to the songs in the phone. Lay down on the bed while drinking Sprite, sing and dance alone, can deal with boring weekend, play the songs not to sigh, sing out loud for revenge, this pleasure I can't deny. Let's have a little party, spending time on a Saturday night, either alone or with friends, it will be all right, stomping and swaying, remove all the burden of life, Tomorrow will be a brand new day. Get the freedom as a bird life. Thank you. Thank you very much, poetess Yanita Smile, for your beautiful starting. Uh, already our honorable poet, Mr. Mahmoud Kamal, has to join. So uh, I am inviting poet 
Mahmud Kamal. Now, I am introducing one of the important lyrical poet who is from Bangladesh. He is Mr. Mahmud Kamal. He is the generation of 70s. He is a lyrical poet, essayist, editor, and critics. He has been published 45 books, higher 19 books, poetry. He is the editor of a little magazine whose name is Oruni. This little magazine is publishing last 45 years in Tangail, Bangladesh. He received many prestigious awards from Bangladesh and also in India for his great contribution in Bengali poetry. He is also a famous organizer. In Bangladesh, the most important and largest international Bengali poetry festival, who is held in Tangail, he is the key person of this poetry festival. He is a very popular personality in all ages in literature yard in Bangladesh. Now, I am inviting poet Mahmud Kamal to present his first poem today. Thank you. Just unmute your phone and then you can speak. Just unmute your phone. Just unmute your phone. Unmute your phone, then you can speak, we can hear your voice. Unmute your phone. We can see you, just unmute your phone. Just, uh, yes. Please speak. Yeah. Okay, please read your poem. It's okay, yes. Yes, read your poem. Okay. It's okay. Okay, read your poem. Read your poem. Read your poem. It's okay. It's okay. Read your poem. Hello. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm okay. Yes. Yes. Please start your uh, reading. Read I'm your okay. poem. Yes. Yes. I'm okay. 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 I'm my first poem, Camouflage. The house is not mine. I am just sitting inside. The admiring words I do not deserve. They belong to others. The lady I am sitting by isn't mine. So there is no new to think Mihar Sweetheart, the car is not mine too. I am just a passenger, and the pause isn't so far, it is closure. What a gambling with women, house, and car. Though their possession is not mine, I own them just for the timing. Thus, I wonder with bountiful admiration. And thus I camouflage the rumors in the air. The history of power, gain and loss is like this in short. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Honorable Poet Mahmoud Kamal, for your beautiful starting. And our another two poet, Mr. Shamit Boshu and uh, Roy Ben Kishian, uh, they are trying to join. Well, they will join. We will give them floor. That's the completed our first session. And now I am going to start our second session. And uh, today we have a another co-host that is our brand ambassador from Serbia. Uh, she is Marija Stanokovic. Now I am giving the microphone to Marija Stanokovic uh, to start her hosting now. And from the second session, third session, and also fourth session, uh, she will be host today. So now is coming Marija Stanokovic uh, to start her hosting. Thank you. Marija, you can start. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tofik. So, I wanted to say uh, once again, as I told before, thank you, Tofik, for all you do and for giving us this amazing opportunity to be here today. And thank you to Dan TV, Dan Little Magazine, and of course, our world of poetry. So, in this other circle of reading, I am inviting our Libertad to share her next poem with us. Just unmute your mic. Uh, now it's open, right? Amazing. Okay, thank you so much for uh, for your sweet presence here. <laughs> and I am um, I love to talk always about love. Love is my mission, one of my missions. The other is service everywhere. And I want to read this poem in two languages, English and Spanish, and it's about love. Let's make love on the smoky slopes of our inner cosmos, jewels as a pregnant and powerful voice, slowing with wisdom, chalice and communion, which gives value and joy to our uncertain walk along this ethereal and intoxicating path. Freedom, peace and love, mystical and philosophical questions that our mind, soul, and hearts ask us. She gives the answers here in the inner Milky Way, between steep mountains with great peaks, salty and sugary craters, fearful moons, sunny and unexplored places, fields or perfumes, stars blooming, hanging comets in love. Our youth harvest is always ready and willing. It is an immensurable galactic field full of harmony fruits of virtue and gift. Let's make love. Yes, we are luminous begins of peace and contemplation. Let's make peace with love. Hagamos el amor en las laderas humeantes de nuestro cosmos interior. Habita una fragante y poderosa voz hinchada de sabiduría, cáliz y comunión, que da valor y alegría a nuestro andar incierto por este camino etéreo e embriagador. Libertad, paz y amor, interrogantes místicas y filosóficas que nos hace la mente, el alma y el corazón. Ellas dan las respuestas aquí, en la vía láctea interior, entre montañas escarpadas de grandes picos cráteres alados y azucarados, lunas lacrimosas, parajes soleados e inexplorados, campos de estrellas perfumados, floreando cometas colgantes enamorados. Nuestra jugosa cosecha está siempre lista y dispuesta. Es campo galáctico inconmensurable repleto de frutos armónicos de virtud y don. Hagamos el amor, sí, Somos seres luminosos de paz y contemplación. Hagamos la paz con el amor. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you so much, Libertad. This was really amazing, especially hearing songs in both the language that is new to you and the language you can understand. It's really nice. It's, a, it's an amazing experience. So we are moving on, and uh, the second person I will be inviting uh, 
was as the uh, same like the first cycle, Iman Meliti. So Iman, please unmute and share with us your poetry. Here again. Um, you have the right to be sad, to cry, to shed tears. You have the right to find it unbearable, painful, meaningless. You have the right to doubt, to worry, and be anxious. You have the right not to have all the answers and to raise new questions. You have the right to realize if you are doing well enough to do it anyway. You have the right to scream, to shout out, to collapse, and not to be waking up again. You have the right to be disappointed with words or reactions. Provide yourself with time to be frustrated and get angry. You have the right not to want to see anyone and prefer to stay alone at home. You have the right to feel lost in another world, on another planet, in another dimension. You have the right to make mistakes, go wrong, make them late, but not give up anyway. You have the right to say it's wrong. You have the right to ask for help. You have the right to pick yourself up miserably. Then to get it in triumph, you have the right to smile, to laugh, <clears throat> to laugh out loud too. We don't ask you to be perfect. We don't always ask you to be well. We are not asking you to draw a smile on your face and make us believe that life is a wonderful rainbow. Who said this path has to be smooth and linear? You have the right to be tired, the right to have to break, you, um, but you don't have the right to surrender. Give yourself time to heal and accept. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Iman. This was amazing. So moving forward, we are coming to Emina Jelilovic kevric which uh, is a, in, an amazing uh, Bosnian-Herzegovian poet we have met before. So Emina, once again, share your poetry with us. Thank you, Maria. My second poem is The Sigh of Closeness. In my black coat with deep pockets, I will carry hundreds of little white buttons. A man who has a constellation sized among his eyelids shall cry over the failing uterus of darkness in the corner of our street. I will approach him with a desire to write a song about closeness, right under the shadow that swings its legs on the moon and delivers the pain. Let's connect all ends of the world and we shall receive the feet. He says while he touches my eyes, nose, lips, tongue with his fingers. You will be left alone and with no cry. Aleph is an artist who has nothing to say anymore. He will say before he falls asleep in my lap. My eyes won't close down. My buttons are glued to tiresome galaxy. Our fictional children happily observe the unusual sigh of closeness from their window. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amina. Also from our part of the world, uh, here is coming uh, Azemina Krehic to share her poetry. Thank you, Maria. Quality. Amulet. I once wrote a song about freedom and I buried her deep below the trees hold of the parents' house. Some neighbors saw it and they called me a witch possessed by a demon. When everything was being killed and demolished, they fled under the frame of mine blue door and they begged me to I summon all my spirits. I put the paper down on the nearest palm and it just said, freedom sometimes lies more peacefully underground because it prefers free deaths to fears and sad human sights. <laughs> Thank you, Azemina. We are continuing and uh, as it was in the first cycle, now I will be reading my own poetry. So 
let's pick a song. I will be reading another one in Serbian, but I also have prepared an English version. I will read it in the next cycle. So the song is called Da imam sakime. Večeras neka niko ne priča sa mnom. Kao što i ne priča. Da imam sa kime da progovorim. Rekao bih, ostavi me. Nešto mi je teško sada. Lagao bih. Sigurno bih lagao tada. I čekao da ipak ostane. Taj neko moj. Teško je kada nisi nečiji. Još teže kada nisi ni svoj. Ja, ne znam ja ništa o tom. Tako sam načuo. Thank you, people. So this has been the song to da imam sa kime. It is a thoughtful song about somebody who is alone and expressing his emotions. So we are continuing with today's reading and I'm calling Janita Ismail to read us her poetry. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to read my second poem. It is in my mother tongue, Japanese language. The title is Sepi Mambling. Ono lintang ing padang basonto, anangin mendung deli ake cahyani. Katon sepi ing lingsir wengi, ngoyak-ngoyak akti ing pemayangan siliramu. Wengi iki sansoyo mamring, tanpa ono endahe nol. Peteng dedet kelangan sukmo, surem kelangan miko. Genio ati iki natasake lo, ono roso campur aduk nyawici. Katrajang angin segoro, ambro ing sajroning tias. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Anita. This was uh, really nice hearing, and I'm wondering what it was about. It's always amazing. So we are continuing now, going to our Mahmoud Kamal to hear his next poem. And thank you so much for sharing your poetry for, with us today. Thank you. Last poem of the year. Last poem of the year. I thought I would write the last poem of the year about you. And I said before, but fatigue filled my heart all of a sudden. I knew not why, and I could not write on you anymore. Not a single line so far. Thank you. Thank you. So we have uh, we have ended the second circle of reading. Tofi, can you just confirm there will be two more? Okay. So we are continuing going into our third circle for today. Uh, I am inviting once again our amazing Libertad to hear what she has to say today and now. Hi, thank you so much. I don't want that this, this program finish. I would like to read and read the poetry and I know everybody wants the same, but time is short. Okay, I'm going to read this poem. It, it poems is... Um, First place poet cross, foreign poem translated into Italian language. The poem is Ayahuasca. And it, I received the International Award of Excellence, Cita de Galateo, Antonio Di Ferrandis, in Italy. I'm going to read it in English and I'm going to read it in Italian. It's not my first language, language but I'm going to try. Ayahuasca. Sweet intoxicating flavors are your kisses and amazing memories. You are my forbidden root, my ayahuasca, my trip to separate reality, my secret codes, dance of purifying rites for my soul and my whole body. 
Priests and shamans, does this path have a heart? Show me myself the view internally in the deep of silence. I evoke the deliberation of my spirit temple of adoration, life, death, and redemption. You are my sacred love, divine whisper, my Sotipili, prince of flowers, dance and beauty, deity of art and love. You are my love, my cult and adoration. Lay down a bed of consciousness raising flowers for the goods of kaleidoscope play of colors visions. And in that ecstasy of ancient lineage, take me for yours. Now in Italian, ayahuasca. Dolce sabore, inebriante sono i tue becci e stupefaciente la tua memoria. Tu sei la mia radice proibita, la mia ayahuasca, il mio viaggio in una realtà lontana, il mio codice secreto. Danza di rito purificatore per la mia anima e tutto il mio corpo. Sacerdoti e siamani, questo cammino ha un cuore? Mostrami il mio. Io de dimoro intenzionale nella profidita del silenzio. Evoco la liberazione del mio spirito, templo di adorazione, vita, morte e redenzione. Tu sei il mio sacro amore, sussurro divino, mio socipili, principe dei fiori, della danza e della bellezza, vinita dell'arte e dell'amore, sei mio signore, mio colto e adorazione. Riposa su un letto di fiori, destimolano della conscienza, per gli del caledoscopio de Chiocano, con la visión colorante, en el éxtasis de antico linacho, prendi per mí el tubo. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you so much. It was beautiful hearing you in both languages. I see our Torcan is writing to us. Thank you so much, Torcan. We are saying all, we are all saying hi to you, Torcan Ergor. And we will be continuing our reading. I'm sorry. So the second uh, poet for this circle what will be our Iman. Iman, is it, are you here? Oh, Iman is out. Okay, she must be just out for a moment and we'll be back in. So we are going further with Emina jelilovic Kevric. Emina, please read some of your beautiful poetry to us. Thank you, Maria. Koža, to je najveći organ, reklo je nebo posvećeno stvaranju manjih oblika. Žene na obalama Eufrata i Tigrisa razlače moj misao. Kuda si pošla, djevojčice, sa takvom mekanom kožom, kaže čika paja dok pjevamo pjesmice po prosjetalim ratnim kućicama. U jedno glasju razlače moj misao. Bio je to polcajac koji najbolje bije, bio ju je, ubio ju je. Nikada nije uspjela ići u korak sa svojim godinama, vremenom, državom, mužem, ljudima. Skupila je usne, skupila je kožu, njeno prohladno tijelo poput tuđe zastave razvlačile su žene na obalama Eufrata i Tigrisa. The skin is the biggest organ, said the sky dedicated to creating smaller shapes. Woman on the shores of Euphrates and Tigris, stretch my toad. Where are you going, little girl with skin so soft? Says Uncle Paya while we sing songs in blossom at war cottages. In, union, in Eunice, there stretch my toad. It was a policeman who beats the best. He beat her. He murdered her. She had never managed to keep up with her age, time, country. Husband, people, she pursed her lips, gaitered her skin, her iced body like foreign flag was stretched by women on the shores of Euphrates and Tigris. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mina. We are going on with Azemina Krehic. Azemina, please read your poetry. Thank you, Maria. 
In this cycle, I will um, read in my native language. It's uh, it's a poem about uh, jealousy and love. Utvom vrtu. Ti možda i nesluti što prta spavaju pod zvijezdama, da ja šetam tvojim modrim vrtom tragajući za davnom blizinom. Gledam u prozore neosvjetljene i za njih su tvoje oči u svome drijemežu. Iziđi iz svoje muške jazbine, pa da poput bilja polegnemo tlima i ne govorimo ništa. Izranjava je zrak oštricama svojih očnjaka i prstiju, pa neka do zore iz ove krvi sa usana na novu poniknu moja i tvoja samoća. Hvala. Thank you so much. And as we both say hvala, so I, I guess I will be the next one reading poetry and then we will go further in with everybody else. So my poem, I have read it once in this show. It is called Jutem and I will be writing, uh, I will be reading it today in English. Jutem. In the song, I will put parts of dream. Neither one drop nor one pebble of reality that came after and washed away everything. Into the song I am sending yesterday. And that's how it will stay. Je t'aime. Thank you. This was a short love poem. And we will continue with Janita. Janita? Thank you. Um, once again, I will read my Japanese poem. Uh, this is about someone who falls in love. Uh, the title is Katresnan. Katresnan means fall in love. Katresnan. Srengenge angslop exuseh bulan. Waya sore angine semripit agawi tentrem. Kalinga selgramu atiku sansoya adem. Mesa mesem dewe koyo wong gendeng. Saben eso aku tangi meruput. Kangen liwong kepingin petuk. Senajan mung nyawang bunga koyo ketiban daru. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janita. Going further in, finishing this cycle with uh, the amazing poet, Mahmoud Kamal. Thank you. My Bengali poem, Purush Prokiti. Shoja pot bole kichunei, baktu nitei hobe. Jenodir baknei, Shenodir Tibrus Rote, Hoshe Ute Boyal Shori, Shuti Brunari Rakhan, Hoi Hin Badher Motoi, Shodapot Bolekichune, Gontopo Tur Porishima, Eshotobe Nodir Bake Bake, No Kobhirai, Bak Bodoler Kache, Bisram Neab Halo. পথের উজান আছে ভাটিও নিশ্চয় পথ যদি পুরুষোত্তম হয় নদী তাই নারী হয়ে যায় পথকে পাথেও করে নদী যদি বিকশিত হয় ভয়হীন শঙ্কাহীন তখন পুরুষ সোজা পথ বলে কিছু নেই বাকহীন নদীর আখ্যান দুটি পথ Purush Prokiti. Thank Thank you. Thank you. So, poets, your words have been deeply moving today. I see we have a lot of comments on our program, so I have to thank everybody who is watching. And we will be continuing with our fourth last cycle of reading. So, I am inviting Libertad to once again share her amazing poetry with us. Thank you so much. And um, 
I my poems were about love, but sometimes love not not always is happiness. Sometimes is sadness. And this poem I have a it was published in this magazine, Mitaraca, in the Guayana Francesa, and France is supporting this magazine. This is my picture. Um, and inside are two of my poems. I used to write poems inspiring sometimes in photography. In this case, this photograph, pho photograph inspired me, is my photograph inspired me to write this poem. It's a little sad, but I have just in, in Spanish here with me. Sonrisa bucólica, en, en mi iracunda habitación, ángeles y demonios enfrentaban una gran batalla. Rescatarme de la celda fría y mohosa, de tentáculos labiosos que me dominaban. Yo solo quería danzar libremente en las pupilas orgásmicas de la Vía Láctea y vivir una mora de estiempo sin exilio desde mis entrañas enamoradas. Me perdí en la oscuridad de tus aguas aladas, pero de tu falsa sonrisa bucólica sobreviví. Y hoy te aseguro que de ti ya no queda nada. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. We heard Marita, today in English. We Marita, heard... Marita, I just uh, want to say that our honorable poet from India, Mr. Shomit Boshu, just joined now. So uh, we can give the floor. I'm introducing him, then you will uh, invite him. Now, uh, now I am introducing one of the eminent poet who is from India. He is poet Shomit Boshu. By profession, he is a teacher. He started writing since childhood. He writes in almost all prominent journal and magazine in Kolkata, India. He is the author of 28 books. He is the generations of 80s for his outstanding contribution to poetry. Mr. Shamit Boshu has been received many prestigious awards from India and also in Bangladesh. He is the editor of some important literature magazine like Nostochat, Kovita Patro, Unno Kovita, Baromash Patrika. He is the giant editor of a blog zine online magazine whose name is Jolpai Diper Alo. Now I am inviting poet Shamit Boshu to present his poem today. Maria, you please do continue. Marija, you please do continue. Marija. You please do continue. You can okay, invite I'm sorry, Mr. I am there, but I suppose that so, our poet will our poet will read the, his poetry now because uh, the other cycles he was not reading. Yes. Okay, so he yes. will be reading in the end. He is Mr. Shamit Goshu. Please invite him. Okay, Mr. Shamit Goshu, could you please read your poetry to us? Uh, everybody. খুব ভালো লাগছে যে আমি এই মুহূর্তে 10 মিনিট বাংলাদেশে এসে পৌঁছেছি এবং বাংলাদেশের একটা লাইভে যোগ দিতে পারলাম শেষ পর্যন্ত এটা আমার কাছে বিরাট একটা জয় বলে মনে হচ্ছে এখানে আমার অগ্রজ কবি রয়েছেন মাহমুদ কামাল যাকে আমি অত্যন্ত শ্রদ্ধা করি কবি হিসেবে রয়েছে আমার ভাই তৌফিক পেছনে রয়েছে ভাই সুমন এবং সর্বোপরি আপনারা সকলে রয়েছেন যারা আজকের অনুষ্ঠান দেখছেন তাছাড়া বিভিন্ন দেশের যারা আমার সঙ্গে রয়েছে সকলকে শ্রদ্ধা শুভেচ্ছা ভালোবাসা আমি প্রথম কবিতা পড়ছি হত্যা কতবার সতর্ক করেছ তবু আমি অন্ধকার ভেবে বারে বারে পুড়িয়েছি হাত এই মুগ্ধ করতল তোমার জন্য খোলা সাদা পাতা অক্ষর উড়িয়ে ভেসে যায় তোমার আকাশে তুমি ডানা খুলে শূন্য ছুঁড়ে মারো তার অহেতুক সমস্ত প্রতিবেশী খোলা জানালে দিয়ে দেখে নেয় তোমার শরীর স্তন জঙ্ঘার আশপাশ এই অন্ধকার তুমি বয়ে এনেছ দিনের পর দিন নিজের হাতে যা তোমার চিবুক স্পর্শ করেছিল সমস্ত শরীর জুড়ে গুঁড়ো গুঁড়ো বরফ ছেটানো আমি জীব দিয়ে আলতো নামিয়ে রাখি সমস্ত কুকথা 
গেথে নি চুলের ডগায় কতবার সতর্ক করেছ তবু তোমার ভেতর ঢুকে যাই গরম কুমকুম অন্ধকার রাতে যেন ক্ষতস্থান বলে কেউ চিনতে না পারে ধন্যবাদ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ উই উইল কন্টিনিউ আওয়ার রিডিং নাও সো আই এম ইনভাইটিং লি এমিনা জলিলোভিচ ক্যাভরিচ she will be reading her last poem for today i have sp- skipped iman because uh, she is out of the program for now so if she maybe comes back in we will be reading her poetry to in the end amina please do continue hola mari the last poem i will read it only in my language ruka it means hand posljednja ruka koju pamtim je ruka nekog nepoznatog čovjeka Velika ruka koja je progutala izgubljenu masu. Kiša je radila samo svoj posao. Na jesiku sam osjetila kako znaju biti prljave kiše van zemaljaca. Mama, to je NLO. Gledao sam to u filmovima. Rekao je dok mi se stiskao uz farmerice kupljene u trstu, zajedno sa kilom kafe, bananama i teksa s hlačama. Sada će se otvoriti vrata i usisat će nas kroz svoja kiklopska usta. Gle, mama, kako su bučni strojevi. Samo je ta ruka prolazila među glavama. Mi smo se nekako teleportirali. Samo ponekad ruka nepoznatog čovjeka. Pita, hoćeš li me više ikada vidjeti? Hvala, thank you very much. Thank you, Amina. I am now inviting Azimina Krehic to share her poetry with us. This will be the poetry for the last cycle. Thank you again, Maria. Breast mirror. Behind the monastery under a yew tree in a lonely grave, the worms have already worn out the hands of the one who made the mirror. In front of the monastery, in the cemetery of discarded things, Faded photographs, decapitated icons, saint pleading for salvation and tarnished brass. After midnight, I am a silhouette that jumps into the depth of the mirror. There is nothing between us anymore. Thank you. Thank you, Azemina. This was really nice hearing. So I will be the next one reading. And then we are going further in into our poetry readings. This last poem will also be in my mother tongue in Serbian. Uh, and it is a song of uh, love of somebody who has passed called uh, Za svu tvoju ljubav or For all, all your love. Bez sumnje i tamo gde si proleće je koji ovde. Pevaju vratci, slavuji. Ne sumnjam u to. Ne muče te tišina i ništa. Znam. Ali posvetit ću ti pesmu. Za sva odricanja, čekanja, nadanja. Pesmu za gužve verovanja. I za svu tvoju ljubav. Nemam ti mnogo šta reći. Ovo je pesma za sve što si dala. Mnogo staneju malo reči. Evo ti pesma, pesma i hvala. Thank you guys. We are going further into readings. And I will invite our amazing Janita to read her last poem for today. Janita, please unmute your mic. Okay. Um, this is my last poem, and I'm going to read in my English poem. This is also about love, because I love to write about love, actually. Drown in you. You teach me how to love. You never teach me how to forget. You have taken a half of me. I don't know how to end. 
The warmth of your breath touches my lips. It shakes my heart. My voice is lost. How could I refuse? Every day your eyes come to my heart. I let myself drown in you and lose my mind. Like a rose blooms every day, and so does my love, my dear. As though the sky is never gray, it will forever alive. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Janita. Marija, you please invite poet Shomit Boshu because uh, he just uh, arrived in Bangladesh from India just a few times before. So, so you can uh, invite him and he can read one after one. That means two poems he can read. You please tell Marija. Okay, okay. So, Shamit Boshu, could you please read your poetry like Tafik said? But we are pleased to have you here and we will listen to your poetry gladly. Thank you. Now this poetry, Krishna Katha Poneru. Lord Krishna. Tumar chinnu akas jude jatse bhishi. Tumar chinnu nudir buke sharbo shaha. Jagud jude anundo gaan ehi tumi nehi. Prabhu amai tumar moto akla karu. Amai Prabhu Tomar Moto Akla Koro Akla Koro Manus Take Kontro Shari Kiter Moto Biche Thakai Akla Koro Akla Koro Radbirete Tumul Jori Akla Koro Akla Koro Prabhu Amai Jaliye Dao Buker Vitor Loko Truti Nibhiye Dao Agun Mukejok Ne Nama Amai to Mishun No Koro Tomar Moto Amai Prabhu Akla Koro Tumar Moto Shara Jibon Purte Pari Apon Jori Amai Prabhu Shun No Koro Tumar Moto Shara Jibon Kuiti Pari Tumar Shori Amai Prabhu Akla Koro Tumar Moto Tumar Moto Pur No Koro Amai Prabhu Thank you Thank you. This was really deeply heartfelt. Amazing. So I would continue this last cycle with something different. If our amazing host and poet, Tofik Zokur, would maybe read, I would like it. I know everybody would like it. Thank you, dear host Marija Stanokovic, for giving me the opportunity in last time. I am very much happy uh, that uh, you have given me the opportunity to read one of my poem only this session because uh, a few times before a poet Mahmoud Kamal just leave the studio because uh, in his area the electricity is just uh, gone and our honorable one of the poet uh, poet is uh, Arabian Christian who will uh, trying to join from South Africa uh, she is also uh, she could not join because the electricity. Now I, I think she has to join Roebe and Christian. So uh, Marija, if you allow me, uh, I can give the floor to Roebean because uh, she just arrived in our show. And finally, as she arrived, so this time I can give the floor and I am introducing her. Then you can call her. OK, now I am inviting uh, poetess. Uh, now I'm introducing one of the important poetess uh, who is from South Africa. She is Raven Kishin. She is a poetess, an author, a teacher, and a South African woman who is an activist against women and child abuse. She wrote many poems from which she received accolades and her book, Let Your Voice Speak, that was published in April, tells the story about her life as a victim of abuse and also encouraged with women who endured abuse. She wrote also her first fantasy novel, The Dark Lord. Raven is a humanitarian who fight for women whose voices are silent. She is a motivational speaker who visit safe house to encourage other women. Now, I am inviting uh, poetess Ruibian Christian to present her 
first poem today and please uh, marija marija okay i'm here you, you, you invite you invite Roybel because you are the host today, so you can invite. <laughs> I, I hope this uh, I just, I this just host, this host that. suits me, <laughs> and everybody has a pleasant time. So, Robin, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much. Good evening, Wait, everybody. Robin, sorry for being light. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being, nice for being light. It, it's difficult in South Africa due to load shedding. But thank you for having me once again here, Tofi. It's re a really honor to share the platform with many profound writers and uh, authors. Um, yes, I will read me uh, my first poem to you, titled "Listen." Listen. She stood there, fearless, in front of the crowd, spilled her guts out while her heart dropped on the floor. Some hated her for the truth she told, but she did not give a damn. She stood her ground, tall and bold. There was anyway no more space for daggers in her back. Her so-called friends and colleagues made sure of that. Today, she would force them to listen what she had to say. After all, she was the one they betrayed. So listen up. I come to tell you my side of the story and I don't seek any fame or glory. The only thing I wanted to claim is my rightful place. Thank you. Thank you for your strong words. Thank you. So Tofik, could, could you help me just explain? Could Robin maybe be reading some more poetry? Uh, I think, I think, uh, as you are host, uh, you can tell me. Then I can read one of my poem. But uh, okay. in our show, in our show, every glorious poet and poetess are present today. So it will be very much honor for me that I am going to one of my poem today after a long time gap. Uh, and title of my poem is it's a very romantic poem. You and a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee in a thirsty soul and your presence. I decorate the afternoon with elegant color. Removing the darkness of falsehood, I lit the lamp of love. Every time I reach you, my sense receives the fragrance of your loving face. And I forgot the coffee gone cold. Again and again in the same picture, I float the promise of present and future. Sweetheart, oh sweetheart, I want to sit next to you forever and sip a warm cup of coffee with a fascination of life. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to read my poem. Thank you very much. So Marija, uh, we have to reach the last moment as the, our session is going like this. Uh, the final time uh, we are uh, hearing some opinions and comments from our honorable guest poet. So you please uh, call one after one and give them 30 seconds uh, for their opening about poetry, about their feelings, about the show. Marija, please. Yes, of course. Uh, I will just say this one thing uh, and put myself, let's say, not to be in the middle of everything. And so I will say, as you know, poetry is the universal language of emotion. The world of poetry, our program, it seeks to unite writers to confirm this statement. No matter the language you speak, the language you write in, you can share your thoughts and emotions worldwide when there is goodwill and when there is the right chance. This is the chance Udan TV, Udan Little Magazine and the world of poetry is giving us. So being a host alongside Tofik Zohor today, as well as reading my poetry, was an ex experience I am really appreciating. I appreciate it dearly. I wanted to say thank you to all the writers. Thanks to everyone who listened to our live program today. And uh, I will be continuing with uh, calling out other writers to tell their emotions or their, th their thoughts of today's show. I am now going to call our first uh, for today, she was Libertad Betancourt. Libertad. 
Thank you so much. Um, Would you share your thoughts with us? Yes, thank you. Um, definitely love is the key that opens all doors in the universe. And poetry touch our heart. It comes from our heart and from inner inner fountain that uh, knowledge and sensibility and creativity. And this, thank you so much, because here in a universal forum, we are sharing the best that we have in our soul, in our heart. Our pain, happiness, sadness, art, many things. And thank you, because you share all that you have in your books or in your secret moments, special moments. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with this beautiful group and all people that they are watching us in Bangladesh, in Bosnia, in India, in Mexico, in the United States. Thank you so much. I feel so happy. Thank you. Amazing. So the next one who will be speaking, it is Amina. Amina, please. Just and open your mic. Okay. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me? Okay. Everybody hears. Okay, it is my pleasure to be here once more time. I'm happy to hear the poetry from from the poets of, from all around the world and to read mine. For me, poetry is the most beautiful dimension of human creation. And uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, another time. So greetings from me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Greetings to you too. Azemina, could you share your thoughts shortly with us? Mike. Uh, I just want to th thank all of you for, for inviting me. Uh, and I don't want to talk about poetry, what it means to me, uh, because you uh, already said in your poems uh, the essential of poetry. So just thank you for your uh, inviting uh, you inviting me and for this uh, beautiful meeting thank you azamina so janita could you maybe tell also something about the world of poetry in today's program Yeah, um, I'm going to share my thoughts. Uh, actually, I'm feeling very happy today because I have an opportunity once again to be in this program. And thank you to uh, Topic Zohor uh, for inviting me today. And uh, I think that poetry is an art to see our thoughts and emotions, just like my reader. Uh, taught us I like to learn every cultures and today it is is my opportunity to know uh, another languages from other countries so thank you so much for this program and thank you everyone thank you Janita so Shumit would you maybe tell a few words to us thank you we know poetry cannot be translated. But in this program, there is an opportunity to touch your feelings. Other language, but we can touch your feelings, your love, your emotions. Uh, thank Tofik and Uddan team and all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Rain. You have been part of the today's show for this last cycle. So could you maybe share a few words with us? Uh, 
unmute your phone open your mic i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry for that um once again good evening to everyone it is re a really honor to be here uh, sitting here in listening come to listen to everyone's poems it is a nice journey with uh, that i have with uh Tofik already sharing my poetry like Tofik said I am a voice for a woman, a fighter against abuse and children abuse in my country. And I use my poetry and my words to and platforms, social media platforms to share and spread the, the news against violence against um, women and children. So yeah, today it's all quite an honor to meet you all from my side in South Africa. Welcome to everybody and thank you for having me uh, once again to Vic. Thank you so much. So the last one I will be inviting to give his final comments is of course our host and uh, our amazing poet Tafik Zohur. So Tafik, please. Thank you. Thank you, Marija Stanukovic. I'm really happy and feel proud for you that uh, when you come to our show, uh, you will take all the, all the responsibility to on your shoulder and you do very well in hosting. And as you are our brand ambassador from Serbia, so I am very much, uh, I do free tension free when you joined in our show because in every time when you joined, you will co-hosting with me and I am mentally free and I'm enjoying the uh, show and I am re listening uh, very carefully and attentively all the poets' uh, poetry. Thank you very much. Today when we started this 146 number show, uh, I, I told uh, the practice of poetry can play an important role in bringing peace to the world. Poetry for peace. And we have a slogan, the sky of poetry was one. So, uh, you know, today uh, from 37 country and 124 group has been shared in our show. And also uh, today uh, we have a lot of people around the world are watching this show. And day by day we have reached in 57 country around the world and 512 numbers of poet uh, has been read their important poems in our show. Gradually we are going to uh, very soon uh, we will reach in 150 number show. Uh, before. Uh, before that show, we, we declared one thing that in 150 number of show, uh, we will arrange a huge gathering. Uh, at least we will invite uh, 70 to 80 numbers of people around the uh, poet around the world. They will read their important poet. And I hope and I think that uh, Marija will be help me on that show, 150 number. Uh, she will be continuously doing her co-hosting with me. And it will be a very nice and very uh, glad for me that uh, some of, of the part of the world, we have made some people, uh, they are not only the poet, they are also the anchor like Marija. And we are very much glad that today for the first time, uh, Ajimina Krihik also joined in our show. Uh, last show, she was in <laughs> mentally shocked because her one of the most important friend was died. Uh, so she was mentally upset. And my sister, uh, my sister Amina Derilovic Kevrik told me about Ajimina Krihik. So I understand and I told her that the next show I will again invite Ajimina Krihik. So today I am very much happy that Ajimina Krihik is present here and I am very much glad and feel very much honored that Liberated Baton Court, a very renowned and popular and amazing poetess in United States of America. So she is here and my friend Raven Christian from South Africa, she is also here. I am very much glad. And my big brother, my mentor in leading poem, a leading poet in Bengal literature nowadays, Mr. Swamit Boshu is the finally, uh, he has entered the show and we are really, we feel honored and also honored that our 
very most senior poet in Mr. Mahmud Kamal also joined today. Uh, very much, we are very happy uh, that all the poet has to join today. And uh, this is the program. The 146 number program is uh, that's completed here. And the next show uh, will be on 26th of February. Hopefully, we will invite another poem. Another we will read here some another poem. We'll invite some another poets. Thank you very much. Stay in touch. God bless you all. Uh, we will work together because uh, poetry can make us the uh, poetry can build up the beautiful world. Uh, they are the language, they are the rhythm, they are the sound. That all the all the world can make the rain. Which rain can flow the world and the world become a rose garden. This is the magical uh, system of the. Poetry. So we are very much happy that all the uh, important poet and poetess around the world they are present today. And finally, uh, we will again invite you people again and again continuously. This show will go on, and hopefully, uh, one day we will go uh, to this show in offline program as we have uh, doing now in 146 number. But one day we will invite you in Bangladesh uh, around the world. All the poet will become in our country and. They will read their poem in front of the gallery. Thank you very much for this uh, for this time we are waiting, and very soon we will declare in our official pace for that show. Thank you very much again, and thank you Marija for hosting again. Stay in touch. God bless you. See you. Bye bye.